Hi, welcome to my classroom. I'm Mr. Bofield and I teach art at Christie. This will be my third year at Christie Elementary and I'm really excited to start the year off with you guys. Today, let's talk about the do's and the don'ts. So in art, it's gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna be trying all sorts of new projects this year. Art's gonna look a little bit different and that's okay. So I'm gonna show you all the cool things that we're gonna do and then I'm gonna show you how to be safe, which is our don'ts. If you're new to Christy, welcome. I'm so glad to have you. If you've been here before, some of these expectations might be a little bit familiar, but we're gonna go over them anyway. Let's go ahead and take a tour of the room. We'll talk about our masks in a second, but for right now, just understand that I'm in the room alone and I'm showing you around on video. So that's why I'm not wearing a mask. Whenever I have students in the building, I'm always wearing a mask. It's really important that we're wearing those. So over here is the front door to the classroom. This door over here is the supply closet. We're not gonna be going in there. I try to keep this door a little bit open so that you don't have to touch the dirty handle. If you're a classroom that comes from this direction, you'll line up right over here. But if you're a classroom that comes from this direction, you'll line up right here and wait for me to call you. I may have some important information or let you know the materials that you need to pick up. This year, if you're having a problem where you're feeling sick or you are just not feeling well, you're gonna need to wait for a nurse to pick you up. This little green square is where you can do that safely. It's important when you walk into the classroom, use the hand sanitizer and walk in quietly. Sanitize your hands, very first thing you need to do. Also be on the lookout for supplies. You probably noticed these green arrows. Yes, you do need to follow those. They go all the way around. I'll be telling you where you sit today, so this will be your new spot. Remember, we always use the green arrows when we walk into the classroom. Sinks, they are so old that these sinks are not for hand washing. Sometimes the water is really dirty. So I only really use this for painting and for supplies that need water. However, over here next to the no hand washing sign is the first aid kit. We'll be using this in case there's a boo-boo. We have three trash cans. One for every row of tables. One, two, three. So one, two, three. Three different trash cans for you guys. As you guys were finding your tables, you probably noticed that there's some tape underneath the table. What this is for is so that you know where your chair goes. This chair needs to stay in the correct spot. We can't be choosing our spots anymore because Mr. Flynn is looking at our seating charts and making sure that we are all staying in the same places. So when you're done today and you push in your chair, push it all the way in so that it is inside this little half box of tape. And what that does is that makes the room look very neat, but it keeps it so that we know which chair was where. If you look at your table, you have both a table number and table color. Table, you might be at the orange table, the red table, yellow table, green table, teal table, blue table, or purple table. You have a seat number. So if you're sitting here, you're gonna look for the closest number. So this person would be number 21. Let's go ahead and find our table color and table number, and then give me a thumbs up to show me that you're ready. So at Christy, we do use hand signals. Some of them you might already know. If you use one hand, all five fingers, that means you have a question. So I know that you have a question. However, there's some new rules at Christy and one of them is restrooms. So you are given some time before and after specials to use the restroom. I am not letting people use the restroom. You're going to have to use one of those time slots. However, if it is an emergency, you're going to take two fingers, wrap them around like this. However, I can only let one person use the restroom and it has to be an emergency. So just keep that in mind. Make sure that you're using the restroom during your time slots so that we're keeping our families and our teachers and everyone in, around us safe. You need to fill up your water bottle you're welcome to bring your water bottle. You'll need to keep it on your table or under your table and make sure that the lid is on tight so we don't have any spills. But if you do need to refill your water bottle, which you're totally allowed to bring to art, you don't have to bring it, please raise up three fingers because it looks like a W, which tells me that you need water. Speaking of water and restrooms and things that you'll need to know, hand washing. Hand washing is gonna be so intense. Remember, you need to turn on the water, get a little bit of soap on there, really scrub, get in between those fingers, those nasty fingernails, really clean those hands this year. It is so important, not only just to keep you safe, keep your parents safe, grandparents safe, 
all of them. Keep everyone safe by washing your hands. If you're ever feeling unwell, there's a green square outside where you can wait for Nurse Ellie. Remember, we don't go to the office anymore for the nurse. Another thing to keep in mind is that coronavirus is a real thing. We do not joke about it. I've had people in my family affected by coronavirus, so I don't think of anything corona related as a joke. Please do not joke about coronavirus. Please do not say you have coronavirus when you don't. You could be pulled out of school and some people are being sent to back to remote learning because they're making jokes. So it's not funny, not cool. Keep those jokes to yourself. However, if there is a day where you're just not feeling well, you have a fever, number one, it's important that you stay home. Let your parents know that you are not ready to go to school. If you're at school and not feeling well, please let me know as soon as possible. And then remember, we're gonna head to the green square outside so that Nurse Allie can help you. So you're probably wondering what these things are. So yes, we have dividers in art because this is considered a high risk area. Everyone in the whole school uses it. And that's why I have to disinfect between every class. To help keep each other safe, we're gonna be using these dividers. It is so important that you do not touch them. Why? Because these dividers are meant to protect you from people's <coughs> coughs and <coughs> sneezes. So if you're touching these dividers, you could be touching someone's cough or sneeze and that's disgusting. So remember when you're walking into the classroom, you follow the green arrows, you find your seat. However, you may notice it's kind of hard to see the board. You may have to kind of move yourself so that you can see the board and what's going on through the projector. Or let's say I just can't see. It is totally fine if you want to move your chair out a little bit so that you can see a little bit better. Whatever helps you. As long as you're staying away from people as much as possible and not touching the dividers, I'm totally fine with If it. you know me, you know I make a lot of videos. The reason I do video instructions is because I have over 500 students. So in your class, you might have 19, 20 students. I have 500, so I have a lot. So I have to make sure that my instructions are clear. And so I prefer to make videos for my instructions. Okay, so we've talked about the tables. We've talked about water bottles, which you're allowed to keep as long as they're on tight. I usually will keep supplies on this back green counter. I also will keep a pencil sharpener for this week only on the back counter for your pencil that you brought today. Maybe asked to get some supplies from the back counter. So just be on the lookout. You might need these later. Find a mask that you like, wear it every day, and please do not take it off during class. Okay, so now we need to talk about something really important. You are going to be sharing supplies from your classroom and in art. So you're gonna be bringing your supplies with you, no matter if you're in kindergarten, first grade, second grade, everyone in the whole school is going to be sharing supplies. This keeps everyone, including myself and all of your friends safe. Now today, you should have brought a pencil. Next week, I'm going to give every single person in the whole school their own bag. This is what you're going to be carrying your art supplies to class with every single time you go to art. You need to make sure that you're prepared and bringing all of your supplies from your classroom. You are so welcome to bring some supplies from home. So if you have your own set of markers or if you have your own crayons at home, which with way more colors, bring them. I would love for you to use them in the art room, but you need to make sure that you are bringing all of the next supplies with you every single day. Every day you need to have two pencils, one eraser, a glue stick, some bottled glue, school glue preferably, a Sharpie, a sharpener for your pencils, some scissors, and also a pack of crayons. More colors, the better. Same thing with colored pencils. Try to get one with lots of colors and markers. If you can't find supplies with a lot of different colors, that's okay, we'll still make it work. Now remember, I'm counting on you, your teachers are counting on you to have all of your supplies in by next week because you're gonna be getting your bags, filling them up, and bringing them to art. It is so important because remember, if you don't bring the supplies to art, you can't do the art. And it is impossible for us to share supplies this year. It is not safe. So I can't allow you to share your friend's supplies. If you don't bring it, unfortunately, you don't have it. If for some reason there's an issue where you can't get supplies for whatever reason, let your teacher know and they'll send you down to me and maybe I can help you if I have some extra supplies. Over here is my messy workstation. I prefer to stand while I'm using the computer and that's just me. So please stay away from this area. It has my germs on it. You don't want my germs and I don't want your germs either. This is called free draw. If you end up doing free draw, you need to take your free draw home unless 
you want to put it in my mailbox and you can send it to me. So if you have something you want to let me know or you just want to write me a note or send me a funny picture, put it in my mailbox and I'll check it after school. Canvas is how we at Christie communicate our expectations for the classroom. Every classroom is totally different. So for instance, mine has transition, art instructions, and independent work. Conversation, so that's talking. So like for instance, with independent work, you might use a one or two voice, which means you're not shouting ever in the classroom. Make sure that you're looking at these champs. We'll be explaining them a little bit more throughout the year, but every room has a champs poster, so do be looking at those. Over here are my personal expectations. These are do's. So I do want you to aim, I do want you to respect, and I do want you to trust, and I do want you to seek. If you didn't realize, it spells arts, and these are just my personal expectations. Aim, try to do your best. I know that not everyone likes art, not everyone is the best at art. I hope I can make art fun for you, that's my job. So please just aim to do your best and do what you think is right. Respect. So respect yourself, your friends, and our classroom. It's so important since 500 people use this classroom, we need to respect this space. Trust. I work so hard to make sure that you guys are having fun. I try so hard to make sure that y'all have a fun place to go during art specials. So please trust me that I can teach you art, some teach you some really cool things. If there's something that you want me to teach, I will try my best to make it work. Just let me know and trust me because I trust you that you can be excellent students and learn whatever you want to learn in life. And then seek. Sometimes I don't know if you need help unless you tell me. So it's really important that you seek help, raising your hand, letting me know that you have a problem. If someone's bothering you, if you need help, if you have a question, anything, I am here for you, I'm here to protect you. Let's make sure that you are seeking my help if you need it. Also, your friends are here. I know that you may not be very close, to people right now and you may have to stay socially distanced, that's okay. There's still people in this classroom that can help you if I can't. So remember your peers, your friends are also here to help you. So now let's talk about how we exit the room. So we talked about the kits. When you use them, I want you to bring all your supplies, have fun, but when it's time to go, you need to make sure that everything's in the bag. We might be wiping down the tables, but it'll be my job to disinfect the classes in between. I have some wet wipes that we use sometimes that are not disinfecting, but that clean the table. We might be using those, but I'm supposed to be the one that's using the harsh chemicals to clean the room. And I need to make sure that y'all are out the door and ready to go so that I have time to clean the room. It's so important. Anyway, once you are done for the day, I'm gonna be calling tables. So I might be calling by table color or table number. So make sure you know that we're gonna be practicing in a moment. You're going to need to push in your chair and make sure it's inside that little gray tape box and then follow the green arrows. Make sure that you're going all the way around and follow the green arrows. You will follow those green arrows, holding your bag, water bottle, whatever you brought, and you're going to follow this rainbow line. I made it really cheesy rainbow looking. And actually it's gonna go all the way to the front door. So this is gonna be called the L. So it looks like a giant letter L, if you look at it from far away. This is where we'll be lining up. Follow the rainbow tape all the way until you get to the front. Wait patiently. We're gonna wait for people to get lined up. You definitely wanna keep your distance. So keep your distance from the person behind you. And remember, you can go around like the letter L. That's why it's so long is so that everyone can fit and we can head out of the classroom in a timely, patient manner. If we ever need to wait for your teacher to get back, please just patiently wait against this wall right here until your teacher is here to pick you up. If you're in fourth or fifth grade, you might be heading to the courtyard to line up and we're going to be lined up out there and meeting your teacher outside. Also, next time you're out here, check out the art contest that's going on called Reflections. So anyway, if you forgot who I am already, I'm Mr. Boatfield, I'm your art teacher. I'm so excited you're here. Let's have an awesome year, guys.